so it's uh, it's me and Dick Tips. And, God, I love Dick uh, Tips. Man, I'm such a big Dick Tips fan. Uh, if you guys need any kind of uh, funeral arrangement in the greater Birmingham area of Alabama, you go to Dick Tips. You I go mean, to Dick Tips. I mean, and I go to Dick Tips for <laughs> more than my funeral needs. Everybody does. Because I just love a good Dick Tips. <laughs> I mean... He's just nice. I mean, you know? when he does karaoke Tuesdays <laughs> at a hula hand. Oh. I just, I, when I wake up, I'm like, I want to hear from Dick Tip. I mean, I would love to get a daily TikTok update from Dick Tip. <laughs> just like a quick little text. Yeah. Hey, Grace. How's your Dick Tip doing? It's me, Dick Tips. <laughs> just checking on your Dick Tip. You're like, ah, <laughs> that's a great day. You can't have a bad day after Dick Tip. Come on. It's like. <laughs> that's one of the Ten Commandments, I do believe. You could choose positivity. You could also choose Dick Tips. And they're kind of synonymous. I agreed. Welcome to Dick Tips. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the Positivity Report. It's a Wednesday, a witchy-ish Wednesday to witchy uh, herself, the witch, what? the lovely, the ginger witch, the jitch. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the jitch. It's like Grinch. The winger? The winger? The winger. That sounds like I'm whinging, though, like yeah. whining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just call you the ginger witch. Okay. Uh, Grace Hancock is here. Um, we were talking before the show rolls. Is I don't have the ability to go to zero to 100 anymore. I, I used to be able to like, oh, yeah, like, I'll just go to a wedding and do everything. I'm going to smoke all the cigarettes, drink all the booze. And for the last three days, a man is like, are you okay? I was like, no, I'm not. I, I like, I ju- like every night I just sit around I'm like, ah, because I haven't smoked cigarettes in so long. And I know I like punished my body. Oh, so are you like saying that you've been like hung over for three days? Yes. Holy shit. It's been bad. And I never get hangovers. I, it's all the combination of all that thing. I just got to stick to Jack Daniels. Yeah. Or Boone's Bourbon. Ken. Well, we need some new bur- Boone's Bourbon. I know. We need, I need something. Just let me stick to one thing. Okay. Just that one thing. Cocaine. Grace. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows. Uh, thank you all for being here on the program. Uh, it's a Wednesday and uh, we appreciate all your support. You can support the show. Streamlabs.com slash good people GPA. You can super chat the show right here. You can go to the GPA.fund. Ikeke, show them that merch. Ooh. We can hit that merch store. Merch, 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 Hot, sexy hoodie. We got the Be Good People unisex tee, the lady tee, the positivity report mug, the find the good red and yellow shirt. Red and yellow. We've got other merch up there as well. Other merch. We've also got, Ken, tell them what's on August 21st. August 21st, live, jam in the van. You can come attend the show in West L.A., or you can get tickets to watch the virtual broadcast. Special guest lined up, a big Josh Brady main event. Boom. Oh, That's man. That's so cool. August I love 21st, that uh, we're going to be there, a 7 p.m. show. So we can get out before the neighbors complain. Yes, we'll probably go till about nine thirty ish. I've been told. So a, a great night of all kinds of variety. I'm Maybe excited. Grace is going to be singing her original song that we just talked about. The merch song. The what? Well, the merch song mixed with baskets in the sky. <laughs> It's a basket in the sky and you're gonna die. I it's love a basket. Flying baskets in the clouds. Guys. Taking my law degree and throwing it away. <laughs> Listen, you can do whatever you want in your life. Okay. Make sure it's safe. <laughs> you're allowed to make the choices. One of those choices is not vaccination. Get <gasps> funking vaccinated. Please. You dumb idiots. Do your part. Do your part. Okay. It's not a choice. It's not like I'm making a choice. You're hurting people. It's bad. We choose positivity. Choose the vaccine. And don't fly in baskets in the sky. Also, stop air balloons. Hot air balloons. We're it's done. a bad idea. <laughs> Illegal. Okay. Me and Dick Tips are going to submit some submit. legislation. Okay. Oh, look at the mother up in the sky. It's so cool. Big gust of wind. Everybody dies. Also, you have six inches between you and humans. Just everybody rubbing on everybody. There's no engine. Oh, I'm gonna go up there, and we're gonna have like it's a glass of wine. It's just like a big lighter. You basically just are up there with like a, like that's it. I love it's the you sound and your by loved one, and some person you've never met. And people like propose in there, and they're like, uh, "Hey, what's your name? Dick Tips. Cool. Can you take it?" And he's Can like, you take right a picture? here. He's like this. He's like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Hashtag <lesson>. it. <laughs> Hashtag no more hot air balloons. No more hot air balloons. Okay, we don't need it. We don't need it. We've already got planes and parasails. We've got guys in hang gliders. There's other ways you can see the world from up there. Okay? Yeah. There's other ways that are way safer. Mark Riley's drone. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Have you ever seen the guy on, like, the movable drone? Get him going. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd, I'd fly in a drone. Stop it. Stop hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. 
Okay. Vaccinate? Yes. Hot air balloons? No. No. You heard it here first. Stop ghost shows. I'm kidding, (gasps) Grace. I'm kidding. Joshy. I'm kidding. Oh, my joy would leave the world. Well, your joy. Here's the thing. I I totally forgot about this afternoon because they're making me watch Candyman. Because people th- oh. get, seem to get a real big enjoyment out of this. Today, you gotta watch. It's today. It's today, 3 p.m. <laughs> that graphic is just a delight. Thanks. A uh, little T-Rex arm just reaching for the heavens. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Every Wednesday during the weight loss challenge, uh, Ikaika, I- I- Ken and I will be doing on Wednesdays instead of horror watch-alongs. Well, maybe that's a good weight loss thing for me. Ken, Ikaika, and I are going to be doing dance routines. We're going to learn dance oh. routines for, uh, right, Ken? And uh, we're going to burn some calories. I love yeah, this. I'm not a good dancer until four drinks in, so. Yeah, exactly. I probably we shouldn't drink during happen. the weight loss right. challenge. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, because at this uh, wedding, out. at this wedding on Wednesday, it was a glee wedding, and I was just, Literally. like, pumping that dance floor as hard as I could. And uh, turns out, I'm not a professional dancer, but I can act like one on a dance floor. Oh, okay. Just fake it till you make and it. And sober, I'd be an okay dancer. Drunk, oh, man. <laughs> Call me Fred Astaire. <laughs> I am. I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's Dick Tips or Fred Astaire. You can I, yeah, I mean. That's it. Speaking of Fred Astaire, can you turn on the Astaire conditioning, please, if you don't mind? Mm. Thanks, Ikega. Yeah, uh, I'm you, like, I'm wrapped in. I appreciate I you now uh, coming prepared, even on a hot July. Is it you on? No, I'm just here to suffer. <laughs> is it? And I'm like crossing the street with like hot coffee and a sweater. And people are like, <laughs> ooh, is she dying? And I'm like, yes. Is she okay? Yes, I am. Are you okay? Is this that isn't your dad? the face of a of a warm person. <laughs> I'm a vampire who's going to evaporate. Ken, are you worried about Gra- Grace evaporating into a vampire? Uh, no, I am worried about uh, her a gone girl he made, especially with the insistence of life insurance right. policies. Yeah. And, you know, this is you know. the irony. I just ha- can I just say? Can I just take a Study, dick tip she's, minute? She studies <laughs> that movie. Can I just can say, we get a graphic the, for a dick tip? The minute? irony. <laughs> The irony that like men are like women are watching so much true crime. I hope they don't learn how to murder me. When ninety nine point nine percent of those episodes are about a spouse or a partner murdering their wife or their ex, and men are like, "Hope she doesn't kill me," and I'm like, "Hope I survive." See, I it's think true. I think the tables are turning here. Dick tip minute. Dick tip minute. Brought to you by Dick Tips Funeral <laughs> Arrangement. Are we should like legit like hit them up and be like, "We just love what you're doing. We love what you're doing. Can Would we you be sponsor this?" <laughs> That's like great. hilarious and goth at the same time. Is yeah. your show located in Birmingham? No, no, it's Los Angeles, California. Uh, but we love. But really, the do. internet exists everywhere. Exactly. Dick tips. Listen, when I die, just like Dick tips. I would love for Dick Tips to arrange my funeral. Should I put that in my in my last will and testament? Please. <laughs> Only Dick Tips or his uh, or his beneficiaries. Amanda knows. I want to be buried with a picture of Bo Jackson <laughs> at Dick Tips's funeral house. Well, yeah, I mean, sure. Oh. But yeah, Fair. but yeah. I'm gonna like. I'm vegan. I work out every day. I eat clean. I do Reiki. Mm-hmm. I do meditation. Like, I'm going to outlive everybody by 70,000 years. Yeah. Get life insurance, Let's... bro. Go ahead, Ken. No, no go ahead. No, I, I want yeah. you. I want to know. I want to know. I'm, I'll be ready to check out shortly. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> the, you'll, you'll understand. Well, you, you understand the older you get. Well, the older you get, you're like, hey, we've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I stopped watching I'm baseball saying, closely. I was like. Either the Yankees win the World Series or they don't. Yeah. Nothing changes. Right. Yeah. Like, I, you know, everybody. I can't fault you for that. My brother and I were talking about, like, the older I get, the less I care about the Steelers. Like, I love my Pittsburgh Steelers. Don't get me wrong. I still yell at the TV. I love Pittsburgh sports, all that kind of stuff. But I used to take the losses. Like, I would, like, walk outside. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, dick yeah. dips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to start screaming. <laughs> Fuck you, dick dips. Like like in Romeo and Juliet when Romeo screams like I am fortune's fool. It's like we rewrite it. It's like fuck you, Dick Tips. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Would direct that play. There he is. Oh God bless. Look That's at him. Beautiful. But also like it's... when you if you were to see that man and you were like okay, he's holding the urn. He's holding. It's full of Ken's That's ashes. A giant urn, by the way. It's Do huge. humans take up that much space? It's like a Have chess was... piece. <laughs> it is I a chess piece. Like a Morro Bay. You can go play chess on the yeah concrete. Right. But, like, if I had to guess what that man's name is, were that lower third not to be there, like, I feel like eight out of ten people would probably be like, I don't know, probably Dick Tips. Yeah. Nine (laughs) nine times out of ten, that man's name is definitely Dick Tips. That guy gets up every day, looks in the mirror and goes, Dick Tips it is. (laughs) Today? (laughs) Today. Choose. He doesn't choose violence. No, he chooses chooses Tips. Dick Tips. So, Dick (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm happy that we're all operating on like the nine year old boy mentality that I'm always on because because yeah, yeah. well, it's, it's never hilarious. not funny. It's like amazing. it's never not funny. We're just trying to make people laugh. That's all. With dick tips. David Taylor says dick tips. A legend. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's correct. Um, no, but we start like my brother and I started talking about you know like as the older we get. Not that I don't that I care less. It's that I just enjoy it. Yeah, like I used to shifts. not be able to. That's great. Like, th- listen, I got a five month old daughter. I enjoy her way more than any kind of steal or victory could ever do. Yeah, I right? think that's probably a good right. I feel like your kid should make you happier. Than but I think there's a lot of people sports. in Pittsburgh that may disagree with. Yeah, me. Yeah, that's valid. I mean, Ikaga Shiva, the Prince of the Islands, Aloha Friday, Hawaiian Hunk, the Great Hunkino. Oh. I'm Dick Tip, <laughs> Mission Park Funeral Chapel and Cemetery. This is a cremation urn. And did you know that most funeral homes don't even own their own crematory? And they what? have to outsource the cremation process. Yeah. What? Yeah. That sounds stressful. Park, it's like a dry cleaning. Yeah. And when you entrust your loved ones to us, they never leave our care. Did he not want to do a control. second take of that part? So for over <laughs> and also, who is he walking with? Like, they never wife? give her name. No. He's like, and this is my wife. I let her out of the house once for Eileen this one tips. take. Dick Tips got places to be. I, 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 Where do we think Mission yeah, Park is? <laughs> I'm going to find out because I think I want to be uh, burned Buried. there. Yeah. Nah, you don't need to bury me. No, I'm going to uh, get no, burned. No, fuck that. Too. I'm getting yeah. cremated. You yeah. can yeah. cremate the Dust fuck out of me. Do you want to know, to get real goth and morbid, mm. like the grossest stuff happens to caskets. Most of them flood. Oh, yeah. All of those fluids eventually break down. And if yeah. they were to open your casket it's in 20 years. Well, no, I mean, it would be just like goo. Yeah. Like it's mm. real bad and gross. It's mm. gross. Yeah. Um, a senior film chimes in with a super chat, says nothing, just leaves us five bucks. I love it. I love you, buddy. I just Thanks, love a five dollar dick tip. Me. <laughs> um, I love how many comments are getting flagged in the chat because they are saying <laughs> dick tips. It's great. This is my favorite episode of all time. That's what I do. I flag uh, episodes. I, uh, I love that. I think that Rosie is a little uh, like confused by my voice right now. Oh, <gasps> Because she's super smiley in the morning. She's like, Dad, you've been smoking. <laughs> yeah. And this morning I was like, oh, so this is amazing. Amanda buys this camera okay. for the baby area. Okay. Okay. Like a like a security, like a watch. Yeah, like watch like her in the crib. we can pull her up on the app. Yeah. Correct. Right. Well, we yeah. had this one that was given Ooh, to us at a. You could ca- a lot of people catch ghosts that way, so let me know. The fuck? It's true. Excuse my language. Oh, yeah, you know, you're right. This is a PG show. There will be no F words, only dick tips. Only dick tips. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. so Got John G says I used to formulate paint metal caskets. <laughs> what does that mean? Like he Formate formulated paint. the paint for oh, 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 for metal oh. caskets. Got it. Got That's it, got pretty it. dope. That is pretty dope. So uh, she buys this camera. So we already have this like camera, and it's one of those creepy ones. It's like black and white. And when Rosie opens her eyes, she looks like bang, and they're just black eyes. Oh, because it's like night vision or it's something. It's night vision. Oh, sure. Right. And then she looks like a demon. Totally. Yeah. So, but Amanda got this one where we can travel with, and it's an app on the phone, so like it magnetizes, so you can take it on vacation with you. So, like, let's just say yeah. we went to my parents' house. Amanda wouldn't have to keep running up the stairs during fireworks to check on the baby, right? And I would get in trouble because I'm not paying attention to the baby. I sure. bothered for another day. <laughs> so anyway, so she buys this camera, and last night I'm watching the Olympics. It's like eight thirty. Baby's in bed, and Amanda's like, "Oh, I'm gonna set up this camera. Let's see how it works on the app." So she sets it up. And you're supposed to scan this thing. And it's, she's like, she's going, she's going. And I just hear Pierre in this boy going, your camera is ready to be set up. Your camera is ready to be set up. Like every seven seconds. And I go, babe, <laughs> I think. That, I think it's ready. <laughs> I, I think the camera's ready. <laughs> I think the camera's ready to be set up. And she goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like she had, had enough, right? I, was like, I All love right. that. I'm going to go take a shower. So I go in, and she comes in the bathroom. She's like, leave the shower running. I want to rinse off, too. I was like, all right. I was like, babe, is the, is the camera ready to be set up? And she, st- like, I haven't seen a look like that in a minute. And she just picked up her phone. She was like, dick tips. Uh, go well, ahead and uh, get, get, get that, prep urn, that ready. urn Prep that Steelers football urn. <laughs> the, the top comes off. It's like one of those old football phones. Sure, yeah. But oh, yeah. full totally. of ashes. Yeah. That's great. So, um, so she gets in the shower, and I come back out, and... I've been watching the Olympics, and I've just zoned out in the fact that that thing is still going. It's still saying that it's ready? The oh, camera's ready to be sake. set up. The camera's ready to be set up. Like, I'm serious. Every 10 seconds. Oh and it's guys. So I go, Amanda, I think we should just unplug the camera, and let's like retry it in the morning. She's like, all right. So wake up. But Raby wakes up like this morning, 6.30. I start hearing that funking voice again. 
So she comes and she's like, babe, what is the wireless password? I was like, it's been the same wireless password we've had <laughs> since you moved into the old apartment. We never changed it. It's the same one. She said, well, it's not working. And I'm on Makuga's Wi-Fi 5.0. And I was like, it's just Makuga's Wi-Fi. And she's like, are you fucking kidding me? And poor Rosie's in her little bumbo seat like. <laughs> like the camera's ready. <laughs> oh, God. Finally here, the camera has been set it up. Oh, my God. Also, I just I have a very itchy face today, and I'm I'm sorry for the way I am. Take a look. I'm just oh yeah, just a little little ball mm -hmm. cupping for the snoot. Yeah. So the camera's set. Up. So the camera's set up, and now it's like this high definition, uh, colored camera. Ooh. And Rosie has no idea that there's two cameras now watching because Amanda's now got her phone and the other monitor. Oh yeah. I was like, can we shut off one of them? No. No. Because now they echo to each other. It's oh, awesome. yeah, being yeah, a parent yeah. is just awesome. I had a rat cam for a really long time. Oh yes, sir. You in the front? You don't use the 5.0. That's uh, the faster internet. No, the faster internet's just the Makuga Wi-Fi. I don't know. I feel like our 5G is not faster. Uh, the 5G is blocked easier. That's what your brother-in-law told us. I don't know what that means. It means it can't go around walls as fast, so he told me. Just use the regular. So when you're sitting in front, use the 5G. Uh. Okay. Sure. Because our house is several walls. and Curtis? You literally walk into <laughs> one room, the, the internet that was working in the other room stops working. Yeah, well, we it's because our, our house is passes. 500 feet <laughs> long. It's just one fucking giant yeah. long rectangle. And everything you need to and work is in the back of the home. Well, and everything is made out of, like, steel from yeah, 1920s. the... 1920s. Yeah. No joke, in the bathroom, one half you use one network, the other half you use In another. the bathroom? In the bathroom. Yes. And that bathroom is not I've big. discovered no. a focal point. Like, literally, <laughs> my, my network I have in my office for my studio... Like, if you hold the phone one way, one doesn't work, and the other one does. That is insanity. It's <laughs> down the middle. I just love, like, Ken in there with, like, his compass and, like, like oh, a, yeah. a yeah. magnetometer. That's classic Ken. Yeah. Yeah. I could see if Ken, in a, in a previous life, had Ken grown up with a father that pushed him into Boy Scouts, like, pushed him hard, Ken would have been the greatest Eagle Scout to ever do. Were you a Boy Scout? <laughs> no. I was in something called the Awani Sparks, which was the church version of the Boy Scouts. Oh, no. oh God. And, mm -hmm. uh, We're not putting you in Boy Scouts oh, to no. be yeah. possessed by the devil. Yeah, well, it was, I, you know, I had, I had my crown with all my jeweled memory verses, yeah, uh, yeah, and then yeah. I won the soapbox race, soapbox race every year, because <gasps> my cute. dad would grab my car and be like, I'm making this, yeah. and he crafted this, and I almost got in trouble. The Pinewood Derby. You were like yeah, the Pinewood Derby. Pinewood Derby. Yeah, and they were like, there's no way you made that. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't okay. learn much. Uh, my grandfather uh, in the Pinewood Derby, the one year I did Boy Scouts, it was more like Cub Scouts. And then I was like, listen, when are we going to start shooting bow and arrows at stuff? And they're like, that's not until you're a wee blow. And I was like, F that. A wee blow? Yeah. That's like the stack pop. Just anyway. a wee blow to the dick tips. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That's a really good dad joke right there. It's good stuff. It's, it's an R-rated dad yeah. joke. Our buddy David Taylor chimes in with a super chat. Thank you, David. Flying to Chicago today for Lollapalooza. Mm. Whoa. Cubs game tonight. Uh, It'll be my first time seeing Journey. <gasps> oh, Holy shit. cow. Harry Carey impression. Oh, hi. My arm. <laughs> I can. Well, I can't do my voice is too low. I can. What's your flavor? Planos. Mine's the sun. That's your holly Yankees today. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, just look up that clip of Harry Carey trying to say Hideki Irabu. <laughs> Wasn't it Hideki Irabu? Irabu, yeah. Something like but that. Yeah. Oh, man. The Yankee pitcher from Japan. Yeah, that was. Uh... <laughs> Are you drinking Irabu? <laughs> that is, you know who uh, Harry Carey is? No. He's the legendary Cubs announcer, but also brother in law of Dick Tips. <laughs> He married Dick Tips' sister, Stacy Tips. And good for them. What would be the equivalent to Dick Tips in I mean, I just want to know why. How do we get from Richard Virginia Tips to Dick? Yeah, Virginia that's Tips. one of those things. Like, where do we get Will from or Virginia's Bill from William? Virginia's go by Ginger. Do they? Yeah. Virginia, I always thought it was Ginny. My mom's name is Virginia. She's gone oh, by Ginger her whole life. Get out of here. I don't know her name was Virginia. Also, you, my sister didn't know that. I told her that. I was like, you know that that's not her legal name, right? And she was like, what? This was like a year ago. What? Todd didn't know she your had no idea. Name? And I was like, her name is Virginia. And she was like, what? I'm just full of facts. Uh, Ikaika Tips. Virginia. I thought her name was Gina Tips. And she goes by Gina Tips. Oh, Gina <laughs> Tips. <laughs> yes. You know what I like? Call me uh, crazy. Gina. Gina uh, and Dick. Virginia. Meet Virginia. Or Martha and Elmer in the PG version. <laughs> I yeah. can't wait to meet Virginia. Uh, that's, I, 
no idea that people would go from Virginia to Ginger. We've talked about it before. Mm. Like, where does Bill come from? William. Where does Dick what? come from? Richard. I Why? get Rick, sort of. But yeah, like. Wouldn't you just go by Rich? Yes, you would. Hello. Again, we've we've met people like adult men in the 21st century that still just holds to firm. Dick tips. Dick is my name. That's what I go by. Dick. Like. Why? Like that'd be like, hi, I'm Nipple Hancock. Nice to meet you. <laughs> like. I mean, your last you name. You have control over that. Your you last name just... already kind of lends itself to like hands and cocks. <laughs> yeah. Right. As I prefer it. Yeah. Right, exactly. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be legally changing my name to Nipple Hancock. <laughs> Nothing and quite you can like call me Nippy. <laughs> dick Nips. Dick Nips. <laughs> it's my nipples shaped like dicks. Uh, it's a sick bachelorette party. Ooh, hey. oh, coffee almost came out my nose. Sorry about that one. That's did not see that. Now one my nose coming. is like. Ah. Uh, I want to get into something a little serious. Oh, if oh. that's okay with everybody. <laughs> what do you got? You got, got what, what's, I found another video. Oh, okay. Please play it before we get into what? something serious. Do it. God, I love that moon graphic so much, you yeah. guys. Mission Park Oh my god. Oh, you can just tell by this graphic already that this is gonna be Hi, grand. I'm Dick Tips with Mission Park Penal Chapels and Cemeteries oh, with no. a special Mother's Day message. <laughs> oh, when no. you were little, she tucked you in at night and she sang you to sleep. And today, if you're lucky, she's still around, so you can give her a great big hug. <laughs> this Mother's Day, take the time to show your mother. It's a how close much up of a bow. Her. It's an Even extreme close up there, just of a bow. She won't be around forever. <gasps> I know. Dick! So make this Mother's Day special. <laughs> You'll be glad you did, because at Mission Park, you'll be glad you there. did. I know. Look, she's I gonna know. die soon. I hug your mom. Hug Here's your mom. a ribbon. I think Mine he's my died favorite yesterday. person ever. I know. Should we like let's have him on the Could, show? Should we call Mission Park? Let's do it. But then, what if they mission? like go back and watch the show oh, and they watch us like? Don't oh yeah. Do it, Josh. yeah, 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 yeah. We might get in trouble. They might think that we. It's on the well, internet. What we have you to can do is show we have to it. Kill we somebody some... so we have a body. These are also from 2013, so it knows oh, if Dick no. Tips well, still works Well, it was a great there. year for Dick Tip Cinema. <laughs> Dick Tips doesn't just work there. I think we should research it. Yeah, he runs the place. He's not only the proprietor. I don't know. Sometimes Dick's retired. Also a client. Maybe we could call him and ask who his videographer is because that was pretty great. It wasn't bad. Hey, um, we were hoping to use this small bow and blow it up right behind you. Okay, it's, it's just the way that like the you. bow kind of like faded into pink roses. Yes, See, so tasteful. All that just <laughs> funeral homes obviously make. As me I'm being very reminded on Mother's Day that my mother will, <laughs> will die. die. Thank you, Dick. Happy Mother's Day. Are you ready for Enjoy your mom's her while death? you still can? It's probably not long. <laughs> Dick tips. We have urns in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Mom's huge. We got bigger ones. Your mom's a little bit skinnier. We've got little ones. Dick tips, urns, and all the sizes. Because as you know here at Mission Park, we take all kinds of bodies. <laughs> all right, so we'll call him and we'll pitch you as his new yeah, Correct. With, yeah, his, with, my new, with my new the hot, Dick tips sexy little guy. voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, I'm Josh Tips, son Josh. <laughs> of Dick Tips. And this is my grandson, Ikaika Tips. <laughs> Ikaika Tips. Did you tell that story on air? Of me being his dad? Oh, you being yeah. that? Yeah, okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. And on the Chicken Breaks video. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your dad? Uh, Richard, hi, my name is Richard Tips. I refuse to go by Dick like my dad, <laughs> but I am Richard Tips Jr. Rich Tips has a fun. Rich Tips is better. Rich yeah. Tips is actually pretty solid. Yeah. Junior Tips. Like, even Shard <laughs> Tips would be better than Dick Tips. Like, if you took Richard and you just took out Char the <laughs> Shard, because, like, Rich, Rich, like Shard. Hey, the name is Shard. What's your full name? Richard. Okay. Shard. I think, but I think chard, like the vegetable, which or is chard. Fucking nasty. I can't tell you the rage that I have to chard. To chard. I hate chard. Ken, how often does she chard dips? Chard tips? Doesn't she? Char didn't you say she like burns everything? Burns everything. So char oh, yeah. charding. I burnt my little nuggies. <laughs> oh no. My little chicken nuggies. My the air fryer can gardine. solve all of that. She's burnt things in the air fryer. <laughs> I actually. I feel like I'm I'm burning things more than I'm not in the air fryer. Damn. I, I came home from Seattle and pulled open that air fryer. There was like a <laughs> tofu log stuck to the air fryer inside. Like I'm not domestic. I don't know what I you people want I don't, from me. I don't need nor want you to be domestic. I just don't want you to set the place on fire. I think domestic and literal pyromania is a different thing. I mean, it I just, do have the word fire tattooed onto yeah, my body. It just, oh. You'd be surprised at how fast it happens. <laughs> It's not like like one day I left a pan on and okay. I came back from like laundry. I was like, oh, oh, the smell, like right. right. And I felt bad. She'll be like in the kitchen, 
I think I burned it. <laughs> As she's cooking it, watching it get charred black and crispy. Unbelievable. That is, yeah, that's true. It is. It's a weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, we need to put up some of those cameras. Yeah. Cameras ready to and set I up. I, I don't. This isn't a house where I get in the kitchen a little bit. I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll make us. No, if, if you weren't there, I would starve to death. But, Amanda uh, doesn't even approach the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, no. We've no. been over this. I and think a lot of it is my impatience. Mm. Cooking takes too much time. Well, mm. so turn, then I'm like, turn the flame down just a little bit. But then I, I mean, it takes. God, I made. Oh, I made nudes yesterday, but it took like forever we, for the water to we boil. We call those noodles. I was like, <laughs> I who made had? Nudes. Yeah, I was like, I was like, who has time for this? I do think a good name for a noodle restaurant is Send Nudes. Send yeah. Nudes. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Uh, we got Brian Jackson, Mr. McClunky. Hey, Here's I'm, some tips I met, for the super chat. I met Mr. McClunky this weekend. What's he like oh, in person? Nice. Tell us about Brian Jackson. He, he, uh, he was great. I'll tell you yeah. why he's great. Because you know, it's it's a, you, you, you're doing the meet and greets. You know Correct. how it goes. And some people are wonderfully uh, insistent and, and get there. And, and he just waited his time. Yes. Took his time. He was like, I'm 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 McClunky. Yeah. And it was great. It was Fantastic. Uh, Trey T says, I don't want cooking with Ken. I want charring with Grace. That's, that's, Ooh, that's, that's I kind of right. love that. Yeah. I made uh, asparagus in the air fryer the other night. Oh boy. There's nothing quite like middle of the night pee. With an asparagus. Yeah, that is, it is something else. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, today, is it's that the serious topic you want to see? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was asparagus pee. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So yesterday, uh, I woke up in the morning, and I'm a gigantic Olympics fan. I love the Olympics. I watch as much as I can. I watched Badminton on the NBC app yesterday. It was awesome. Damn. Badminton is fun to watch. Like, it is insane. Tense. It's so hardcore. That right? poor little birdie is like, ow. It's ow. called... What? You know what the birdie's called? Birdie Ken knows, but tips? Um, it's called a shuttlecock. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the best meep, thing meep. I'll hear all day. <laughs> so uh, the whacking that shuttlecock around. Uh, badminton awesome. But So yesterday, clearly our, our best athlete in the Olympics, hands down. Like on the planet. On the, the planet. Best. Like the best that's ever done it, with, without a doubt. The Before this goat. whole thing started, she said if, if other people were doing what she was doing... They would make the degree of difficulty higher, but because nobody's doing it, gymnastics doesn't want to admit that uh, she is that much better than everybody else, right? Like they've never seen anything like this. Oh, she—it's like it, she defies gravity. It's insane. Gravity. We're talking about Simone Biles. So we wake up yesterday, and uh, you see that Simone Biles is withdrawn from the team competition because of a medical condition. Now I think she might be hurt, whatever. But then you see, like, it's it was very shady, and then shady-ass U.S. gymnastics. By the way, USA Gymnastics <laughs> need to be completely, like, dis get rid of it and start it over with people that actually care about the athletes. Because the only reason, and the reason, and a lot of times, and listen, I, I, like I said, I follow the Olympics. I'm, like, obsessed with uh, gymnastics. Anything Olympic sports, I follow it. You rarely see a gymnast go from, like, 2016 to 2020 because their bodies are absolutely destroyed by the time they're, like, 18 years old. Okay, and mentally, like they're sent to this ranch with two crazy Romanians. I listen to the podcast. The, these girls are treated like cattle. Well, yeah, but it's okay because there's usually like a sexual predator doctor around, so at least they have exactly. That. And then they covered that one up, just like the Catholic Church covered up the priests. Yep. Okay, they covered up this guy. Now Simone Bio said she was doing this Olympics for her. But then as soon as she got there. Team USA and all this kind of stuff just bearing down on her. And she had a bit of a mental breakdown, which I could see. Oh, the pressure. I'm, I can't even imagine. Bonkers. And the fact that we're putting this pressure on this young person and put them on herself, whatever. There needs to be some sort of sports psychologist and all this kind of stuff. Be like, listen, if you don't win, it is okay. But yeah. they are never taught that. Listen, right. silver medals are fine. Bronze, fourth, fifth place. You're already at the top of your thing. Unfortunately, for your entire life, you've been taken from a loving, nice environment and you've been put in this funking machine that is just cranking out gymnasts and these girls want to be, they want to they get the Olympics. And then you see them later in life, like, I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Most of them say it. Yeah. And poor Simone Biles getting attacked on social media, probably by the same people who aren't getting fucking vaccines. Excuse my language. Okay. <laughs> what are people? See, I, I told I don't I totally don't know what's going on. I'm like in my own little. Are people are upset that she dropped out because because they're like, well, yo, they you feel got let the down. Yes, correct. Oh, by the God. way, she owes you nothing. 
She trained her whole life for this, and she had. She couldn't get her routines in. She couldn't focus. She just It just mentally, like poor Naomi Osaka from Japan, the tennis player, same thing. Just the press bears down on you, this whole thing. Everybody, you feel like all these people are depending on you, all these sponsors, all this stuff. You get to the Olympics, it just erupted. And unfortunately, we didn't set a base mentally for these people. We set a base physically. Yeah. We said, hey, you're going to injure yourself day in and day out, but don't worry. Fight through it. Yeah. I am crazy Romanian woman. You fight through the, uh, the injuries. <laughs> They're injured. Let them be injured and recover. If they don't have the body to get in there, then in their head... They're like, I, I can't do it. My body's hurt, but I don't want to admit that because this entire time it was like, be tougher, be yeah, tougher, yeah, be like, tougher. Like, grin, no! grin and bear it, yeah. Well, I'm Stop happy that it. people like her and, and the tennis player are like addressing yes. the mental health aspects of really high, le- like the highest level competitive sports yeah. and, and just in general, like the health, mental health conversations are more yeah. open, more broad. So I'm happy that at least hopefully that'll facilitate some change. I mean, you would hope. When, like, the greatest of all time has to step down for her health, it's like, we should maybe look at that. Right. Like, we should. It's like Harvey Weinstein level. It's like, yes. maybe we need to, like, really look into this. Because, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're 21, 19, 18, 16-year-old yeah. women that are put on the biggest stage on the planet and have to stand on a four-inch beam and do flips. In their underwear. In their underwear. And they are, it's just, it's it, like, it angered me to the core. I, I told Amanda, I said, listen, if Rosie wants to be a gymnast, I'm going to say no. Like, she can do flips and all that kind of stuff, whatever she wants to do. If she wants to pursue her passion, great. But I'll be like, listen, there is, we got to have a conversation as a family because I'm not sending you to yeah, some ranch in tough. Texas for a gold medal that gets put in your sock drawer and you don't make any money. Like now, at least with sponsorships and stuff, they can make a little bit of money to further their life, right? Simone pay Biles. for their medical bills. Correct. Because <laughs> for the rest of their lives, their wrists, their ankles, their knees, their back, everything is destroyed. Your body should not be doing that. It's not natural. And here we are as a people, some shitty ass people. She's got, like Sheila Toner popped in. People are being awful to her on social media. That's horrific. Who has time for that? Like who literally right. goes to Twitter and is like, oh man. Like you worked your whole life. We you need to be able bit, to put like, up with the pressure. We've if got you, some big ass battles going on on the planet. Like have several seats. It's gymnastics in the Olympics. Needs to be gigantic changes in all sports. Listen, I, I grew up playing an Olympic sport. I was a swimmer, right? I got burned out in the fifth and sixth grade. Nobody listened. Nobody listened. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was done. And nobody listened. And I still think about it because I would have liked to have done something else. Yeah. Did I enjoy swimming in high school? I hated every second of it except the races. Hated every effing second yeah. of it. Okay. Do I even like going in the pool now? Of course I do. I love the water, but I hate swimming. Yeah. Because my entire life from a very young age I was in the pool every effing day. And guess where it got me? To a fraternity at Penn State and swim in college <laughs> and swim in the Funkin' Olympics. You have to be the top two swimmers in the country to even make the Olympics. And then you have to be in the world. You know how much it just it takes another person. And that's why Michael Phelps talk about it too. He had his breakdown mentally because everybody put him in this corner. I'm it's, sure like every single Olympian has had multiple breakdowns. Correct. It just hasn't been public. Yes. Simone Manuel. I had a mental breakdown this morning. Ken has a mental breakdown about Last Jedi all the time. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I'm kidding. Um, we mentally, as a people, we've got to the point where we're finally admitting that mental health is a very important thing. We finally got there after my grandpas came back from World War II and they grin and bear it and work in a steel mill. Yeah, like PTSD to yeah. the max. Where they also, might... all teams should have a Reiki healer. Do it. They it's should have so all the helpful. mental healings. I need to start doing some Reiki so I don't get so upset. Yeah. But like I, you know, like I have this little beautiful daughter, and I think to myself, like if she became the greatest of all time in a sport, and social media destroyed her, I would find all of those accounts, and like yeah. rip those people in half. Yeah, I'd go full John Wick. It's it's Simone Manuel, the swimmer, had what they called overtraining syndrome. What the, what? That that is like. I I went to high school with a girl. Her name was Meryl Holman. She was going to swim for, in the Olympics for uh, the Netherlands. 
because she her family moved from the Netherlands, but she was Dutch and God, American. I would love to live in the Netherlands. Yo, Get my. the fuck out of here. Her her quote in the senior yearbook was amazing, and it like because they asked everybody like, "Where do you see yourself in ten years?" And she said, "Living in a windmill, make growing tulips in the Netherlands." Like, how cool! Like that's a pretty cool thing to say. Just add in like ten chihuahuas, and it's my yeah. dream. So, um, yeah, I think they got chihuahuas in the Netherlands. Right? Well, I could bring one. I mean, we we'd be cold. Yeah, but I have so many sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> Freezing, but you could. Ken could do it. Look at him. He's already looks Ken's like. Ken's a very warm man. Ken is a warm man. We'll just man. snuggle on him physically and spiritually and yeah. emotionally. Ken very is the warm warmest human. person I've ever met. He really is. Like, like on the inside, he's a little mushy. There's a reason why people are drawn to Ken Napsack. Because he's the best. He's a warm, loving human. I want to go where the rain is. <laughs> Ellis and I are talking about retiring to Edmonds, open up some sort of a baseball card shop. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Retire to what? Edmonds, Washington. Ooh. It's gorgeous up there. I, l- I appreciate the the lack of sunshine up there. Yeah, uh, you vampires, you. I need yeah. a little bit of sunshine. Well, there's no much Indian in my fa- in my family, so we're from Seattle. Right. That's why I'm so tan. Mm. <laughs> but I, I will I will say this, and I and you know I can leave it with this. It is, you never know what somebody's going through, physically, mentally, emotionally, right? And for you to tell somebody, to just grin and bear it. Is not a response. It also can be really dangerous. Correct. If you're a coach, if you're a parent, listen to your children. When you t- when your kid tells you after they've been swimming their entire life, and they were like, you know, unfortunately, the the the, the hard part for me was I was like very fast when I was ten. Guess what? Kids hit puberty, and I didn't. I didn't hit it until late in life. And all those kids that hit puberty passed me by, and I was like, all right, great, I'm done. I don't need to be fast anymore. I want to go play golf. Or I want to play basketball. Or I just want to like hang out with my friends in high school and maybe do some after school activities. Yeah. Instead of two hours in the morning, three hours at night, weightlifting. Did my did I not get fat? Sure. I had abs. It was great. Was I miserable? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I look back at those abs and I'm like, oh, that would be great. <laughs> did you say it in that Romanian accent? Yes, I did. God, I miss those abs. Oh, cool, is it? Um so you just so let's have some more compassion. Correct. Maybe mind a little bit of our own business. Right. Right. Call dick tips. And call dick tips. Get an And urn. wish him well. <laughs> Just do it. We choose positivity on the show. And if we, if we can do something today, go listen to somebody. Don't talk to them. Listen to them. Maybe somebody needs somebody to listen to. Because Simone Biles clearly needs somebody to listen to her. And I don't think any of those coaches, I don't think any of the other athletes... I don't, and I, I'm not going to call her parents out because who knows, but I'm sure that at some point she just thought, I don't want to do this anymore. And she was doing it because USA Gymnastics hid a fucking child molester within their ranks and didn't protect any of these girls. Because guess what? Those girls spoke up and nobody listened to them. And Larry Nasser was just this guy. He was really nice finger, like doing the grossest shit to young women and ruining their lives forever. Those, wo- mm-hmm. those women's lives are ruined forever. Mm-hmm. Mentally, physically, they can never, ever get over that. Trauma never the- goes away. Trauma never goes away. I still think about trauma in my life. Never goes away. You can talk. You can work through it. You can do it, but it doesn't go away. Yeah. Never goes away. It's just, that's the, that's, that's the mental situation. Unfortunately, evolution brought us to be peak predators, but mentally, we can't handle the peak predation. I just hit that mic over there. <laughs> you, just sla- you slapped it like a dick tip. Slapped Slap. it like a dick tip. Anyway, that's my rant for today. It's good stuff. And so, I Ken, I, I have to put my foot down. You can't be an Olympian. Yeah. I'm not comfortable. No, no, not going to be a case. Yeah, no. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Grace, let's get into some deeper questions about you personally. Oh, my God. Why are you? You're such an enigma. <laughs> I put what? it in. I put it in the title. Grace oh. Hancock and being an enigma. Because yeah. sometimes, and Ken, you can kind of maybe, I mean, you obviously know her way more. than Because I, I burn do. all the food I've ever touched. Mm-hmm. Burn the food. How did you get into this, uh, like, Reiki healing, saging? Uh, I don't want to go into the witchcraft thing, because I don't know if I def- de- ne- like necessarily agree with it. <laughs> but what do you think witchcraft is? Because witchcraft I have no idea. is so literally tell me. a nature religion. It's just like honoring nature and harming nobody. Well, That's literally what Wicca is. Yeah. Well, okay, so I didn't know that. But anyway, but no, continue no. your question. Well, I didn't know that, so tell me more. Yeah. 
I mean, well, that's all I was going to. Well, so how, like, when did this kind of transformation, or have you always kind of been like this, where you looked, you have a different outlook on the world, a very different outlook on the world? Yeah, I'm just a weirdo. To... I think I've always been a weirdo. I think I'm also just like an extremely, extremely old soul. And like, I remember being very, very young and being very, very, very pushed against my will into Christianity and mm -hmm. being very uncomfortable and okay. really disliking it at a okay. very young age. Okay. So I was like, what else is there? And so this was because you feel like the the actual like physical nature of it is more important or because you actually see something that makes way more sense. In Wicca? Or, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, I just think that, you know, from my perspective, like witches can be very, are typically more solitary than anything, which sure. I prefer. I'm a lone yeah. wolf anyway, and I don't, group religion I think is where it gets messy. Hello, uh, as we've seen historically, yeah. and also Catholic church, like, like <laughs> murdering and raping and pillaging indigenous people. I don't know, like I'll sure. just name a few. So I, I think that group religion, group think, group control is where I think stuff gets messy. So I like that aspect. I like the respect aspect. I like that there's no like bigotry because <laughs> I think people should just do what's right for them and that it shouldn't be any of our business as long as you're not hurting anybody. And that's why yeah. I like Wicca. It's just like honor nature, harm no one, done. Right. Honor nature, harm no one, done. And then how did you, how did like the Reiki come about that you, because I, I personally am extremely intrigued by it. Yeah. How was it like done on you? And then you were like this, it, it, I mean, it just, I don't know. I don't know how to end that question. I mean, I th Can I've always been really fascinated in like helping people because I have such a, you know, I'm such a creative, empathetic person like almost to a fault like I can absorb energies around me really easily so like I can be in a crowded room and be very angry or very stressed out and it's like because it's not really my energy I'm just I'm very like absorbent and sensitive right. so but I think the the way to combat that in a positive way is to use that to people's benefit to like be a sounding board like help them work through some stuff so Reiki is definitely like along those lines of like wellness and self-care and like sure. non-religion and like you know working on stuff like being the best self because the more that you can be close to your most authentic self the more you'll be aligned with your most authentic life and that's where the joy and happiness for you as this person in this carnation can be so I really like that and it's really fulfilling work to help people mm -hmm. get there because I've helped myself get there and I've worked through massive trauma massive horrible pastimes that have been so beneficial and again it never leaves we right. can help neutralize it but it's been so beneficial to me and my happiness and my self-actualization so i i was so pumped to give other people that and the first time i had reiki it wasn't like this big spiritual experience mm -hmm. but i've talked about this before i just felt super high like i literally felt oh, like wow. i was on cocaine i felt wow. so euphoric but not like in a foggy way like not i right. literally just felt yeah. like just non-causal joy and i was like what the fuck is this shit like because right. i just went like for fun like because there's this place in la called the den that's kind of like the, the bar bougie. no <laughs> No, it's like a meditation I've studio, like a lot of like oh, the celebrity, yeah. like, like yeah. it's very, you know, it's very bougie LA. So I just like Thank went you. for fun. I was like, what's Reiki? Let's go. Um, and I was just, I was like, what on earth? Cause I went in like knowing nothing, not really caring, was just kind of there to have fun and like yeah. do something that was going to be relaxing. Cause it's kind of like meditation. And I left feeling uh, amazing. And I felt amazing for 24 hours, like better than any medication, any therapy. Like it was like, I was just euphoric. I was so, and again, like not cloudy, like not an altered state. I just felt so much peace and so much non-causal joy. So I was mm -hmm. like, let's do more of that. Cause yeah. that felt good. And life is horrible and horrific and very difficult. And we need all the help that we can get. I agree. Interesting. I'm like, again, I'm very intrigued by it. I'm, I think that uh, our biggest problem as a people is that people don't have open minds and they close their minds immediately as to like, well, well, I'm right. I'm right. This is the right way. Okay. It's like that stu It's like that timeline in that show. Uh, what's the the one with the dumb Loki? Loki. <gasps> oh. So when the timeline starts going off, I'm like, yeah, let's go off this timeline. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with it creatively because I get so confused. <laughs> but I just love picturing Josh. You watching Loki? Like, yeah. Huh? What's that now? Dick tip. Because here's the thing. Do I necessarily agree with organized religion at all? No. But if it helps you overcome alcoholism or it helps you in your life be a better person, I can agree with that. What I disagree with is you forcing it down people's throats. Correct. Right? That's the problem. And that's how that was done in, in my childhood. Right. Now listen, I, there are a lot of really good people 
that my dad is a Catholic, my mom's Catholic grandparents. They're very good people. Yeah. Their their defense of the priest and staying with the Catholic Church. My dad didn't defend anybody at all, but they needed there needed to be some sort of this can't just keep happening and we're just like, well, it's it's all it's all a matter of like this. No, we had to investigate, call out, and bring down, and we didn't do that. And I, when I say weebs, because I mean like I'm still like a member of the fucking Catholic Church. I don't go to church, but I'm I was born and raised Catholic. I'm confirmed Catholic. I've never transitioned to another religion because I don't want to. I don't want to. Because uh, like I've said, I, I think every major religion teaches the same thing: be good to your fellow man. I don't need to go to church to do that. Because um, I always thought church smelled weird and I didn't feel comfortable there. But a lot of times it's like be good to them as long as they're like straight and married Correct. and, and hetero. That's the problem. Like, that's the problem. Yeah. And and you said we uh, uh, Wicca's Wicca's Wicca 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 is the religion. I am a Wiccan. Correct. Got it. Okay. So uh, solitary doing your own thing, whatever, caring about other people, nature, religion, all that kind of stuff. But I've always kind of, and I've kind of embraced this as my thing. And when I was a kid, I asked a lot of questions and I think it like really upset my parents. Right. Right. Yeah. That's a, that's a, like, why theme. do I have to do this? What really all the animals got on an arc? You can't fit all of them on an arc. How big is this arc? Was well, it a hurricane? <laughs> like I started just asking all the questions. Right. Um, and so, and then I started learning more about like things that happen and all that kind of stuff. Whether it was the Crusades in the past, where they just brought in flaming swords and just brought down people yeah, just for not being people. Christians, yep. and the Vikings did it for the things. And listen, all the wars are started by the organized religion of the whole thing. Okay, it's hard. It's very hard. And you can come at me, and I will, and I will discuss this with you. Okay, and you can be like the church has kind of saved me this and that. Yeah, but also. The church shouldn't have a say in a woman's body. The right. church shouldn't have a say in the government. The church shouldn't have a say on who, who you I vote sleep with for. And what my legal status Correct. is when I do that. Correct. Okay. It shouldn't have a say in that. I shouldn't, for me to get married in the Catholic church, I shouldn't have to make Amanda con convert to Catholicism and then take a marriage class by a priest who can't get married. <laughs> okay. Also, and I, like I said, I've embraced this. Why do you care? Why do you care if a person is gay? It's not doing anything to you at all. Right. Him being gay, her being gay. And homo the word homosexual was added to the Bible in the 40s. Like, yeah. it was not in there. Sure. And by the way. Pedophilia was discussed. The Bible was written. Homosexuality was not. 2,000 years ago. You imagine if a football team was still running a play from 2,000 years ago? Like, <laughs> hey, guys, maybe you want to update it. That's the most joshy, like, could you imagine a football play? <laughs> like. And I'm like, no, because I don't even know what that looks like, but it sounds bad. I mean, we're still running off a constitution that was written when the British were going to come back and take everything. Sure. There was only like eight people over here. Yeah. And they were all farming. <laughs> and they were all assholes. Yeah. They were like, is this your house? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gun. Here's a now it's my house. Here's a blanket covered in smallpox. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so, wh like, why does it make you care so much? Why? Right? Like, Because it's about control. He or she... Thank you. Right? Which is can, why I like my stuff. Because it's like every every witch or Wiccan or whatever you want to go by can totally, you create your own practice. You create your own way. You you know, it's like some witches like to do cool, like, ritual stuff. Some do, Like, you can do whatever you want. You just don't harm anybody. Correct. You don't judge anybody. You honor nature. Right. Who can't get behind that? It's, uh, you know, we can look back on things and, like, apologize for shit. But that doesn't mean that those people still weren't, like, real messed up for doing what they did and unfortunately they came to a place of power via shitty ways <laughs> and you look back and like, oh you know Racism he's a good guy pope clement the fourth or whatever he's like i'm pretty sure he murdered like a million people for yeah. not being into catholicism or, or christianity yeah yep. okay uh we are still fighting wars everywhere around the world after like one verse in a book in a book Written by a guy. Which is hilarious because I'm like, but I don't care about your book. And they're like, no. but look at my book. But, and I'm like, but I don't care about it. Yeah, I don't care. Do you want to look at my book? It's by C.S. Lewis. Would it, you rather you love your like, son or daughter forever instead of ca tra chastising them for that's their that's that's who they are. That's that's who they are. Why not love? Right. Why? Why hate? Why do you care? Why does it affect you so much? Also, I think it's bizarre that parents care about like their children's sex lives. Like that's that's inappropriate. Yeah. Like maybe just stay out of it. Yeah. Right. It's uh 
we just we I love where this went. This got real serious. Sometimes. I'm like ready to throw it out. I just had this I had this thing yesterday where I was just really upset and I wanted to talk about it and I knew you'd be down for it. Yeah. Cuz And that's how you know, process it out, talk about it. Yeah. It's you know, I have so many friends uh, that don't talk to their parents because their parents don't agree with their lifestyle. Yeah. Why? Why do they care? I know you want. Can why I don't just you say just one love your kid? You birthed them. You raised oh, them. Yeah, no, they're they're happy in their life. Why not be happy together instead of like? Be, bring people in. Love them. Go ahead. Sorry. Anyway. I was just going to say, it's just so ironic because my experience growing up in the Christian church, which sucked, it's I was told so much about abstinence. I was never, not once, ever in any way, shape, or form ever discussed consent. Correct. Or a respectful, healthy sexual relationship. Correct. I was only ever taught fornication is that, gross maybe. and sinful. Yeah. Anything that's not heterosexual is sinful, yeah. and you can only be married forever. Good night. Right. Amen. I mean, can you imagine like the reason what a that, bummer the reason that certain things aren't legal in this country certain things are being like totally destroyed is because of a book preached by people that like meh. <laughs> written at a different time for Re different people that different time different has been people. very very let's update it translated and 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 twisted to people's it's if like we were taught as a people how to responsibly do things right you go over to Europe, and they've been taught their whole life, like, hey, alcohol is just a thing. We can do it, whatever. Okay? Yeah, do, do people go out and get drunk and crazy? Of course they do. So but not like us. But you're told from such a young age, like, alcohol is bad. You can't do it until you're 21. No, no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch right. it. So when I'm 15 and I'm scouring the woods of Pittsburgh for <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, and we were talking about it yesterday. Just Call was like, it's so taboo to pose for Playboy. Uh, and because when we were kids, it's like nudity is the worst thing in the world. So you hid playboys all over your room and right. you like traded porn VHSs with your buddies in high oh, school. Oh, totally. Because it was so taboo. You can't do it. I would totally pose for Why playboy. do you care? Why do you care? Call me playboy. Boobs. We all have them. Dick has them. Dicks. Guys got them. Okay. We're all going to see them. We all know what they look like. Shut sure. Fine. Look, I got nipples. Look at them. Okay. I got them. Joshy will also uh, pose for Playboy. Playboy, call us both. Call us both. I'll be the guy in the background. Like, okay. The the human form, the beauty of it all. Like, how how messed up is it that you go to a museum and there's paintings of, of beautiful women, but then you go to a picture taken by a very talented photographer of a beautiful woman. And it's like, ah, that's pornography. And it's like, the hell it, is or that? are you just a perv who's sexualizing her? Yes. I think it's that one. It just it just boggles the mind. It really does. Be just again, again. Why do you care? Just be nice. Just Look every religion Grogu. teaches the same thing. Be good to your fellow man. You know what's not being good to your fellow man? Going to a country, taking it over, raping all the women, murdering all the men in honor of a religion. And then That's forcing them into to, your religion. <laughs> to your religion. That's Jesus not good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like oh Shame. i'm sorry you can't get married in the catholic church because your wife isn't baptized okay so we'll get married outside like, of the winery here, now you're baptized yeah boom it's so it's just so backwards and i i want people to really open their eyes and think about things before they say them with the people that they love in their life if my if i mean, if rosie at 16 is just like you know what i'm really uh, this is what i'm into I will support you as long as it's like, hey, I'm I'm really into th shooting bazookas at the neighbor. I'm like, oh, we can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Murder. As long okay. as it's not hurting anybody and it's everything's consensual. Like, let's no bazookas probably come together as a people, right? Like, let's discuss shit. Don't attack the Capitol and call people the N word. I was listening to the the, the <laughs> Congress yesterday about how these crazy alt right insanos attack the Capitol. And there was a black cop who was being called the N-word by these maniacs. Like, who are you people? Who are you? It's goodbye. You don't want to get the vaccine? Bye. Go somewhere else. Goodbye. Sorry. If we're not, nobody's trying to kill you. Bill Gates isn't trying to track you. It's all these conspiracy theories of madness. <laughs> Guess also, what? Pfizer. You have a cell phone? You're tracked. Correct. Like, this is your chip, boo. Like, 
The vaccine was developed by scientists who look at data. They weren't developed by some mad scientist who's like, you know what? I'm going to kill everybody. They're trying to save the fucking world. We look like morons because our country gave you all the freedoms in the world and your freedom was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get sick again. I'm going to kill everybody. <laughs> you stupid morons. Pfizer wants to keep you as long alive as long as possible to buy all their medications. So when I turn 60, I'm using Pfizer's Viagra. Okay? Moderna wants to keep you as long as possible because guess what? We're going to have to start paying for the vaccines and that's when they're really going to start making their money. Right there. Dap me up. Give me all of them. I want to start going into grocery stores and like, would you like vaccine? Yeah. Put it in my mouth. Just spray me in the face like champagne. Thank you. That's what she said. So <laughs> you don't want to get it? Sorry. Okay. Don't come. You're not coming to my house. You're not coming to my shows. You're not coming anywhere where I am because the government should be mandating. Get a card. Get a card. Every the, All over the world. Here's the vaccine. Because mm -hmm. guess what? If not, this is going to be the great ender. It's just going to stick around, and it's going to kill everybody. And if you lose your card, you can get another one. I'm not speaking from a personal experience. I'm just, like, putting it out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I lost my card. I think we should just... I got here, a new one. Here's a barcode. Put it on your ID. It's easy. We could have done this. We could have been. It could have been over. And politically, they're like, eh, it's not worth it. Politically? How about fucking medically? Yeah. This is the last show I ever host. I hope this is the one that you guys watch. <laughs> We got it all. Thank you. Dick tips, changing the entire universe. Thank you. Spray me in the mouth. Dick tips. Thanks, JT. <laughs> Good work, you got go. <laughs> Chappy break. Chappy for my mouth. Did you use Spray piece? me in the Good mouth. Stuff. Yeah. All right, watch this dunk. He likes the gymnastics. <gasps> Look at him go. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, God, look at that form. Oh, landed it. Nice. <laughs> look at that. That is so Watching cute. Spin. The door will. You know what I really hope is that this dog has like really poor vision, so he has to get that close to watch. And he's like, I just got his D.O. He's got, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that twist. Oh, that wrist action. Boom. Oh, yeah. yeah he got it. Oh, he's such a good boy. I, every dog I've ever owned has never really watched TV, and I think it's so interesting when like some dogs do. Look at him, he's yeah. so close to it. My mom, whenever she leaves the house, turns on westerns for her dog. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't know, Rebel just loves the westerns. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, all right. Lulu right. does. She watches TV with us. Oh, that's fun. <gasps> all right, Baxter naps. All right, watch this. Oh, shit, I'm nervous already. Watch Goodbye, concussions are here. What the fuck? Go. Is that a dummy? No, it's a person. Sir, and watch now. He's gonna go. Oh, okay. So he's doing. Boom. He's got some techniques. Look at him. Oh go. my god. <gasps> and then he landed. Okay, so he's like no. training for. I oh the adrenaline. I don't know where this is, but I want to go to there. <laughs> Me want to go to there. I think the trampoline needs to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, so we need to we need to make trampoline. Yeah, one gigantic. little ankle <laughs> slip and there goes Teddy. He goes like four feet forward, or he or she. <laughs> Look at that. That's it. Whoa, Ooh, that's and then close. he just lands right on the titties, Spot. right on the dick tip. I mean, that my mom. I mean, and that dad... gives me anxiety. Like, uh, like all I see is a, a lifetime's worth of chiropractic bills. <laughs> well, it's a trampoline, though. Yeah, trampolines are hella dangerous. Yeah. Well, that's when when I m my mom saw me jump off the roof onto the trampoline without her knowing. That's when she came over with the scissors and just cut the trampoline into. <laughs> <laughs> that's so valid and so metal. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. oh yeah, snip. Well, I was talking uh, yesterday. I was telling a buddy a story about how. Um, my brother hit me in the head with a Sega Genesis controller and drew blood. We thought we might have to get stitches. And my dad took the Sega Genesis into the garage and beat it to pieces with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> John McCuga had had enough. That is awesome. Quack, 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 quack. Just full office space. Just destroyed it. Yeah, it was the best. Kate Van D says, Josh slash tips 2024. Hey, dick tips. I guarantee you dick tips and I do not align. <gasps> oh, look at no, Kevin. Look <laughs> just at that little and his name is Kevin. Kevin chilling in his donut. Kevin is living his best life, my best life. Mm -hmm. I think the other one has one on too. Like when it zooms out. Oh, yeah. you're right. Oh, that's so Barney. cute. Wait, the Barney other one's name and is Kevin? Barney? Yeah, the account name is Kevin and Barney. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Look at just I'm dead. I need one of those. Ken, I think that's a good man, fellow, right? Yeah. These I are do. the things you strive for in life. Look at him just 
Not a care in the world. Just a just a furrowed brow. Did you peace. know those neck pillows that you get for the plane? Uh, in the front, here? I saw that TikTok. Yes, I was like, motherfucker. Sh- we've been doing it wrong the whole time. I was always like, these aren't comfortable. Yeah. Why do we have these? No, nope, it's right here. Motherfucker. Unbelievable. Thank right. God for TikTok. One more. I just found this. this oh, I also like that plant. Plenus. I just want to like point that out. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is that? It's a finger no! monkey. Is that Groot? Is that baby Groot? Oh, what yeah. are you? <gasps> no. That's a thumb. <laughs> That's, That's a so thumb. teeny. I how does that work how does with a guy and we had gave him the nickname of Thumb Monkey. Thumb and Monkey. What? We used to always show these pictures to him. It's real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What he, did he look like this little Thumb Monkey? I can't remember where the nickname started, but his name to this day is Thumb Monkey. If I see John, I'll be, hey, Thumb Monkey, what's up? I, He's got that cool guy <laughs> high school uh, spiky <laughs> hair. Look at him. It's Groot. It's like a, it's like an itty bitty Babu. Like, what do I do with it's this? Like a little yeah. Wookie. Um, yeah. It is a little Wookie. That is, that is Chewbacca. How, honey? Where do you get these? I, we need this. Can you buy these? How big do they get? Do they stay that small? I think those would say small, yeah. <laughs> I can't. You got, I, You don't understand. Like, <gasps> Look at them. Look at Gigi. Guys, that is incredible. This is one of the coolest videos we've ever played on here. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's right here. It's what? a marmoset monkey. <gasps> okay. Oh, my God. I've never and seen a baby marmoset. Get? Oh, no. Like, how do those things oh. survive in the wild? Oh, yeah, it's a little baby. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. They get bigger. Never mind. <gasps> But they're still so cute. Oh, did mm, <gasps> I don't know. They might have diseases. I would take that disease. I would the little one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> We've hit Grace's sweet spot. Oh my god, yeah. the best thing. Look at the little <laughs> Look at this one's eating milk. <laughs> <laughs> this one's eating milk. Look at the size of those milk things. How do we? It's like one of those miniature uh, hot oh, sauces. Look, it's just a little tongue. <laughs> How? Unreal. Ken, Is it I'm legal? Sorry. Can we have one? I think it's illegal. I think you got to be a zookeeper. I would break the law. Can I'll you... become a zookeeper. You can't have a monkey. It's illegal. You but like, be like, no, I would just say it's a guinea pig. That... Look at that one. Which Here's the oh. thing, though. Once they get old and they start getting kind of crazy, you, you're worried about burning stuff in the kitchen. That thing will literally rip your face off. It's a wild animal. You got to be careful with that. It's like the thing. I mean, it can't be worse than Baxi. That is one hundred percent true. Poor little blind Baxi. Yeah, we just Poor you know what you need to get for uh, for Baxter is like those Stevie Wonder glasses, oh. and he just walks around. I don't so that is a pygmy yeah, one. A pygmy. You cannot own it in California because okay. it's. We're a moving. We're done. <laughs> That's it. It's over. I need can that. you get it in Washington, where Ken wants to retire? Yeah, I'm sure you can Edmonds? get it in Texas. I'm sure yeah, I can get true. it in the Netherlands, right? Oh, the Dutch. My grandma's Dutch. And on that note. <laughs> on that note. We're thank you all. To the Netherlands. Thank you all for tuning in to the Positivity Report. We're here yeah, every I single weekday. Oh, no, the toothbrush. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That's how they get their oh, hair combed. It's so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a range of emotions on this show today, Ken. We sure have. From adorable. This is the only time I have emotions. To dick tips. Animals, yeah. To serious religion talk and yeah. mental health talk. And full circle. Back to the Netherlands. Back to the Netherlands. Nothing like a good windmill covered in tulips. <laughs> uh, thank you all. Sinead DeFries is here tomorrow. Amazing. Johnny LaCosta on the show Friday. Uh, oh, and my then, gosh. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen oh, him forever. Oh, tell him hi. I will. Um, and then uh, Josh Burdy on Friday. Johnny LaCosta and his lovely lady in his life, Amal Al-Sharani. She does not, English is not her first language, so this should be a very interesting episode. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um Thank you all again uh, for for being in the chat and being positive. Um, go out, be nice to one another, choose positivity, choose happy, like our buddy Brian Floriano says. Floriani said his brother told him before he died, choose happy. It's way easier to love than hate. Find the good. We'll see you tomorrow. Get vaccinated. <laughs>